Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into the Ethereum price action and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So before we start with the content my friends, I have to tell you that there is hope on the horizon. We're gonna cover a specific indicator in the daily time frame that makes me believe that we could be very soon out of the woods from this huge correction that we are seeing right now. And uh, since uh, right now the sentiment is very bearish and everyone is expecting Bitcoin to drop a lot, I think that very, very soon we might find a bottom and uh, gear up again towards new all-time highs. But until then, until that specific indicator is giving a buy signal, I just expect that Bitcoin most likely is just going sideways or lower before we definitely bottom out and gear up towards new all-time highs. So what we are seeing right now here in the four hour time frame is of course uh, Bitcoin trading below our previous support which now is acting as a resistance. As you can see we have troubles here to push above $45,000 but there are several signs that indicates that we could very soon see a breather towards our targets of 53 to 54k and then we're gonna see if we roll over and go towards lower lows or if then we are able to push higher and therefore also fight the upper resistance that we have currently here at around $58,000. So in the four hour time frame, I'm expecting very soon a potential move towards 53 to 54K. I still have my long opened here on Bybit. So if you also want to take a long or a short on Bitcoin, then make sure to do that over on Bybit or Femex. Those two are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. If you want to sign up to those exchanges, use my referral links that you find in the video description because they will give you some bonus. So let's go back to the charts and here in the four hour, you can see that we are in theory still in a downtrend and also the RSI still below the 50 level. So in order to have follow through to the upside and reach our targets, we must start to close again four hour candles above the 20 moving average. So this is currently here at $46,400. As soon as we're starting again to close four hour candles above this important moving average, I think that we're gonna see this reversal at least for the short term here that we are heading towards our targets up here between 53 to 54K. This area up here, I think is a potential lower high area if this correction is not over yet. And you can see that also in this region up here is the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. So this can give us some huge resistance if we are seeing now a breather to the upside, which in my opinion is very likely since we are very oversold. Also, we tested now twice here the 42K area and it held so far. So everything is looking like that we are gearing up very, very soon for this breather that I was waiting now since a couple of days already. And also together with this bullish divergence that we had here also in the four hour time frame, we had higher lows in the RSI and lower lows in the price action. I think it's very likely that very soon we're gonna get that breather. And once we are testing again this 53 to 54K area, then we're gonna see if we're gonna create another lower high in the bigger time frames, or if we're gonna continue to push towards the main resistance here at 58k and if this is broken then new all-time highs are on the horizon my friends but until then we are still in this correction phase and we are still in danger that we could see Bitcoin dropping even below 40k if the bearish scenario is playing out so everything is gonna be depending what will happen once we are testing this 54k area and if we switch now over into the daily time frame you can see that also here we are very oversold in my own indicator. You can see that the RSI now is coming into very oversold condition. We could also get very soon a buy signal. That wouldn't mean that we are out of the woods and we're gonna see new all time highs, but at least once here we are flashing with a nice buy signal, we could get this breather to the upside and also go up with the RSI and test the 50 level. This will also bring the price towards the 20 daily moving average, which also now is at 54K. And that's why we could see this nice breather towards that target, but that wouldn't mean that the correction is over. We would just go up here to test previous support levels. And if they're turning into resistance, we still could roll over and come back down towards 40K and potentially even drop lower and move along here the 200 daily moving average, which currently is here at 40K before we definitely are bottoming out. 
So that's why it's going to be very important to see what will happen once we are testing again this 54K area, which in my opinion is about to happen very, very soon. We have several signs that we could get this breather and even some signs that we potentially could also turn back into an uptrend and also start to break this huge resistance that we have here at around 58K and move towards new all-time highs very, very soon. If those important resistances above of us are broken and also if we are getting a buy signal in that indicator that I'm about to show you right now because in the daily time frame everything is looking like that we are getting very soon a buy signal also if we have a look here into the Bollinger Bands and into the Keltner channels you can see that in the last couple of days we closed all the daily candles below the Keltner channels which is very bearish and even below the Bollinger Bands so as soon as we can close again a daily candle above the Bollinger Bands so at least within the Bollinger Bands the bottom is currently here at 44k so as soon as we're gonna close a daily candle for example today above 44k then in my opinion we could get this nice breather to the upside towards the median line here of the Keltner channels which currently is at around 52k potentially even push higher towards the top because during a downtrend usually the top of the Keltner channels is always a resistance and this is right here at $55,700 so if we're getting a breather here this is a potential rejection area between 52 and $55,000 if we are able to close daily candles again the top of the Keltner channels so above $55,700 and also break this resistance up here at 58k then I think we're out of the woods and we're gonna head again towards new all-time highs and therefore also see explosive moves to the upside here for Bitcoin but until then I think that we're still not out of the woods that we just go sideways maybe get some breathers but finally we most likely continue our correction until we definitely bought bottoming out but everything is gonna be depending what will happen here in this upper region between 52 and 55k once we're getting this breather that in my opinion is about to come very very soon and with that said I want to show you now this specific indicator everyone knows about this indicator I have covered it a couple of times now already but I have a big update for you so let's have a look into the hash ribbons indicator my friends because as you can see we are flashing here a buy signal it's not the buy signal that we're waiting for but at least we have now this big green dot because the lower line now crossed the upper line and this is what we wanted to see and I'm very surprised to see that this is happening today because yesterday it looked like that those lines need some more days and weeks until they could get across but as you can see with this push here that we got today and if we were able to close here at around $45,000 this green buy signal is confirmed and afterwards we just have to wait until we're getting the confirmation with this blue buy signal. So every time Bitcoin had this blue buy signal after this miners capitulation phase, we always have seen big pushes to the upside for Bitcoin and this is making me very, very bullish and latest here, I will go all in again into Bitcoin. I told you that at around $55,000, I took some profit just to be ready for such a scenario that we could have a massive sell-off also because I had to pay some bills I also had to pay some more graphics card for my ethereum miner so that's why at around 55k I took some profits but everything I have now on the sideline I will put all into Bitcoin again once we're flashing here with this blue buy signal because in the past this always acted as a very good buy signal and also during this phase when we had this miners capitulation this was always a good buy opportunity for Bitcoin so also in the past as you can see every time we had minus capitulation this was always a good buy because afterwards Bitcoin always started to pump and since we are still in our bull market and we are correcting down towards the 200 daily moving average and so far we're still staying above the 200 daily moving average I'm expecting also here big continuations to the upside and latest once here we are getting a blue buy signal I think that we will continue our bull market and therefore also also headed towards new all-time highs so there is some hope my friends that this correction could be very soon over and we don't have to stay in this big correction phase for way more weeks or months 
So once here we are getting a buy signal, of course, I will update you. So make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and of course, always like the video. So once this signal is flashing, I think that we should be out of the woods and we are heading towards new all time highs. But until then, I think that Bitcoin can go sideways, maybe get here a breather to the upside and then again roll over to test this 200 daily moving average or in the worst case, even come down to test the nine monthly moving average right here at 35K. That's still possible, even though there are signs that we are bottoming out and that we could go back into a parabolic bull run very, very soon. The bearish target of the nine monthly moving average at 35K is still in the cards as long as we are not able to create again higher highs here in the daily time frame. So if we are getting rejected somewhere here between between 52 to 55k we still can roll over and go down to test the nine monthly moving average but latest once we are breaking this resistance here at 58k and start again to create higher highs in the daily time frame and here in the hash ribbons indicator we are getting a buy signal then i think we are out of the woods and we should be again all in into bitcoin and look forward towards new all-time highs and continue our bull market so there are signs that we could find a bottom very soon here for Bitcoin. And also keep in mind that once this blue buy signal is flashing, usually it takes always a couple of weeks until it plays out. So it doesn't mean that once we are getting here a blue buy signal, we will just start to moon. It just means that we are about to see big parabolic moves again to the upside. And once this blue buy signal is flashing, usually you always have enough time to accumulate and buy more Bitcoin during that time. So don't rush necessarily right now into Bitcoin or into some long positions. I am already longing here, but I am also prepared in case that we're going to drop towards 35K that I can add more into my long position if the bearish scenario is playing out. And if here we are getting rejected somewhere at around 53 to 54K with this breather that in my opinion is about to come. I still think that that could be just a breather and not really the start of the next big parabola parabolic bull run. I still expect after the next breather one more big last leg down to completely wash out all the weak hands and potentially test the nine monthly moving average and then bottom out. So I wouldn't bet the farm right now with this bottom that we have for now here at $42,000. But there are definitely signs right now that this could be a potential bottom and afterwards we're going to continue our parabolic bull market. So all we need is just patience, my friends. We are potentially going to see a bottom very soon, but we, as long as we are not breaking significant resistances, especially here in the Bollinger Bands and also in the Keltner channels, I still remain more bearish that we're just going to go sideways or lower, but that this correction phase is very soon over, in my opinion, is very likely latest once we're getting here this blue buy signal in the hash ribbons indicator. So for Bitcoin, I'm expecting this breather to the upside and then let's see what will happen up here at this uh, 53 to 54K area. And now let's switch over here into Ethereum. Because Ethereum yesterday had also a huge sell off. We came down very close to the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. So far, we are seeing a healthy bounce. But uh, as long as we are closing four hour candles below the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame, so below $3,600, I also still remain a bit more bearish for Ethereum. And I'm expecting here all the continuation to the downside, maybe even come down to test the main support at around $2,400 because uh, in the four hour time frame, in theory, we are still in an uptrend, but if we're gonna lose here, the 200 moving average at $3,000, it's very likely that we're coming down to test $2,400. And also in the four hour right now, we are below the 50 level in the RSI. So let's hope that Ethereum is able to recover here, especially if Bitcoin is getting that breather. Then I think also Ethereum will go back above the 20 moving average and therefore also back above this previous support line here at around $3,600 that now is a potential new resistance. So if we are able to go and close again for our candles above this price level, I think that also here on Ethereum, we're gonna see follow through and maybe even create new all time highs if we're gonna see also a breather in Bitcoin 
Bitcoin because we are very close to the old all time high here. So let's hope that here we are not creating lower highs also in the four hour time frame because that will suggest that we're going to see follow through to the downside. And also here in the daily time frame, you can see that yesterday we closed below the 20 daily moving average. So the nine daily right now here at three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars could be a potential resistance if here we are able to push higher. But if the 20 daily moving average and the 9 daily moving average is now a new resistance, then I think it's very likely that we could see here a complete retracement back down towards $2,400. That is the main support from this uh, channel that we are in right now since many days already. So it's very important that Ethereum is holding this $2,400 if here we're going to roll over and test this important green trend line. So here on Ethereum, I still remain bullish and I still think that here we could see very soon again new all time highs. But uh, there are several things that need to be done right now in order to go back into an uptrend in the lower time frames. And also here in the daily time frame, we must start to close again at least daily candles above the 20 daily moving average. So above $3,500. Otherwise, things also here could easily roll over and we could go again sub $3,000. For Ethereum. So this bounce that we are seeing right now is very important. We are bouncing from the 50 level in the RSI. So we must right now have a big push to the upside and start to close again daily candles above the 20 daily and 9 daily moving average. Then I think here we are out of the woods and also for Ethereum we're going to see continuation to the upside. Otherwise if in the next coming days we're going to close below the 20 and 9 daily moving average I'm expecting here continuation to the downside especially if the 50 level in the RSI is getting lost but for now we are seeing a nice bounce right at the 50 level in the rsi and that's why i think that if bitcoin is able to get a nice breather towards 53 to 54k then also here on ethereum we're gonna see follow through to the upside and therefore most likely also create new all-time highs and another reason why I think we could get very soon this breather or even a potential bottom here for Ethereum and also for Bitcoin is here in the DXY. Because the DXY as expected got heavily rejected here at the 20 daily moving average and right now we are losing again this $90 support which is leading now into a massive sell off. And we are now approaching the same levels like we had in January 2021. So here the next potential bounce area is here at around $89. And that's of course a very good sign for the crypto and stock market when the DXY is falling. Because usually we are inverse correlated and as long as the DXY is falling, the chances are very, very high that we could get a nice pump in the crypto and the stock market. And talking about stock market, let's switch over to Nasdaq because here, as you can see, we recovered successfully above the 100 daily moving average, but we're still having this 50 daily as a resistance. So as long as we are not closing again daily candles above $13,400 here on Nasdaq, I still remain that Nasdaq could go sideways or a bit lower here because although the RSI is still below the 50 level, so let's hope that Nasdaq is able to close daily candles again above this resistance here because that could mean that we're going to see follow through to the upside. Next potential resistance is here $13,600 and then up here this previous support which now is new resistance here at $14,000. If Nasdaq is able to recover here and also create new all time highs that will be a very bullish sign also for Bitcoin that the correction could be over not only here for Nasdaq but also for Bitcoin and we are heading towards new all time highs very soon. So Nasdaq is about to recover in my opinion. We got here a nice buy signal. Money flow is about to go back into positive and if we are able to bring the RSI above the 50 level and close again daily candles above the 20 daily moving average the likelihood is here that we are seeing a nice bottom here and we're gonna continue to go towards new all time highs here also for Nasdaq. So the conclusion for this video, my friends, is very, very important. I'm expecting here a breather for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum, but that doesn't mean that we are out of the woods. First, we have to break this important resistance here at around 54K and start to create again higher highs in the daily time frame and also start to close daily candles above the Keltner channels. Otherwise, this could be still a lower high and therefore we still can roll over and continue to drop even below 42,000 dollars before we definitely bottom out and then continue our 
bull market so let's wait and see what will happen if you are trading this then make sure to always put stop losses in profits once we are reaching these levels up here because the chance that we are still getting a rollover here and continue to drop lower is still here only once we are closing again daily candles above the Kelton channels here so above $56,000 and also above this resistance here at 58k I think that latest then we are out of the woods and we're gonna continue our bull market because the cycle top is still not here for this bull market and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel also check out all my referral links that you find in the video description because they give you some extra money if you sign up to those recommended exchanges and the big shout out goes to Bitscap. this is an all-in-one platform where you can connect all your exchanges to one place and then run trading bots on them or do arbitrage it's very profitable you can check out also the tutorial video at the end of this video and if you sign up with the refer link that you find here in the video description you will get the pro plan for 14 days completely for free if you are making money within these 14 days afterwards you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting for only $19 a month so go and check it out because it's very profitable especially if you're using my tutorial video that is popping up at the end and here you don't have to do any deposits nothing just connect your exchanges and then you're ready to go and also make sure to join our great discord trading chat you find also the invitation link here in the description once you have clicked on that then you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot then you have free access to the trading chat we have a very great community over here and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so if you want to get access to this indicator you have to contact me because a small donation is needed otherwise just get here a youtube membership then you have also directly access to the live stream here on youtube so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye!